Hello everyone, welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. It is Francesco here. In today's video, we're diving into Craft. Now, Craft is a documents application that is getting a lot of traction at the moment. This is a brand new series called Crafting with Craft, where we dive into updates and lessons that can be beneficial to learning craft. So I'm excited to be sharing this today and naturally, hopefully a few more sessions will come out over the next couple of weeks. So today's feature is a little bit of an update about the versions that are available. It's a little bit of old news, but it'll catch you up on what is available for craft. And we're also going to do a lesson about PDF annotations, which is in the second half of this video. So feel free to use the timestamps below. So some exciting updates for craft. As you can imagine, craft has been out for, I think about a year now in full, but the application has grown in strength and strength. And one of the features that a lot of people requested is a web version. Now the web version is currently being released in beta and it's been out for roughly two and a half weeks now so you can now go on a wait list and sign up through a type form which I'll include a link in description but this web version is attempting to solve uh, an issue where for example if you're an Androider or a PC user you'll be able to get access to the craft experience without necessarily having to wait hideously long for that the Windows or the Android versions. I don't know anything about whether it's going to be released on those platforms but another update has been the fact that they have powered or super powered up their Mac and iPad iOS applications, which is pretty cool. So their Mac and iPad applications apparently have been improved in speed foundationally, which to me is pretty impressive because Craft is already one of the fastest note-taking applications out there. And it already does a great job of being able to do stuff in a speedy fashion. Inside of the Mac version, you'll see some new upgrades that reflect, for example, using the new Mac OS system, Big Sur. You've also got new tabs that improve the way that you navigate inside of Craft. And you also have a new omnipresent sidebar, which will give you the option to skip between documents. You can naturally have that minimized if you want to, but before I didn't think it was available to actually have and pop up. In the iPad version, they've made it much more accessible to access tabs as well, which is something that a lot of people do like to have because the iPad is slowly becoming much more of a desktop experience. So they've added and improved the privacy policy on the site, which explains a bit more detail about about how they store stuff physically and through the cloud, but they've attempting to explain why they are physical first in terms of having your storage locally instead of um, on the cloud. However, they're using cloud naturally to store stuff, but there's a bit more detail about how they actually do the storage side of stuff. And it looks like they're taking privacy very seriously with this application. And the great thing is the offline uh, abilities actually allow you to continue using the application and for it to be stored locally on the device. And then when you're back with internet, that is something that a lot of people like to have, even Notion users with that um, sort of experience. And one final update, they actually had a, a Series A funding round of $8 million, which is pretty good. I wrote a Medium article about it um, if you want to check it out below. So one of the small updates is they've actually upgraded their app icon as well. So that's something that uh, probably goes a long way in terms of just having their clean, nice experience. Okay, so I wanted to do a short lesson on how you can go about annotating a PDF. Now, for those who don't know, inside of Craft, you can actually upload a PDF. So I've got a little demo page here. You can see I've got a PDF that has been uploaded here, but if you were inside of Craft and wanted to do it, you press the slash command and you type in file. And as you can see, you can uh, upload a PDF through the Finder application on Mac. And I believe it works in the same fashion if you're using the iPad version as well. And assuming so on the web version, haven't quite got access to that yet. So as you can see here, this is the PDF and I can open it up and you can actually use the built-in preview annotations. However, they actually have their own annotation ability in the iOS version, which I'll show you now. What's cool as well, just to note, they allow you to do it seamlessly. So for example, if you did have any updates on your iPhone, uh, it should reflect that on the Mac version and the web version if you're using that. Okay, so here is the version on iOS. You can see here that it pops open. In the top right-hand corner, you get annotation available. So if, you, if you're using the iPad, you obviously get so much better real estate, but this is the iOS version. Just to show you how um, decent it is, in terms of being able to allow you to do and use the Apple Pencil. So you could circle stuff, you could use the ruler, you could um, erase stuff, you could highlight stuff that's important. Uh, and you can see here that the, the ruler allows you to do that. 
uh, alongside here. So if you wanted to create a line, <laughs> very cool. Um, but in this case, we'll put the ruler back. As you can see, you can add highlight stuff, which is pretty important. So if you wanted to highlight a specific section, and what's cool is I've when I press done, that version is updating. You can see that little circle means that it's refreshing. And if I go over to the Mac version in front of me here, you can see that that's automatically annotated. And one thing I was quite impressed with is this sync actually works pretty well when it comes to using the PDF. Now that's actually one thing I like, although PDF annotation uh, has been available in, since the 1.2 update and PDF upload has been available since the 0.9 version, it's actually impressive in terms of having PDF inside of a docs slash note-taking application, especially in the modern day and especially the fact that you can get them locally as well. That's something that some apps still don't do. For example, Notion stores it in AWS, which means that you have to open a web page to view that one. So when you're downloading it offline, it doesn't quite sync very well. Um, so that's just something that Craft definitely has above the likes of Notion. So guys, did you enjoy your first uh, Crafting with Craft? Uh, I'm gonna be doing some more in-depth stuff over the next couple of weeks. And next session, we're gonna dive into the trash and search updates that I'm sure you'll find a lot of benefit from. Anyway, guys, a big thank you. If you're interested in checking out some courses, we've just been paying more attention to Skillshare. Um, so if you want to check out the new note linking courses, you can get a free two weeks below using the link in the description. Anyway, guys, a big thank you. Enjoying crafting and craft, uh, even the first lesson, but we'll, we'll dive into the next one and I'm excited to be there. Anyway, guys, make sure to subscribe and I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio.